Kyrie, and welcome to Parsing John. Today we are in chapter 1, verse 47. We're only going to go through that one today. This is the rubric, everything that we're looking for as we go through and parse these verses. I'm going to try to be very careful that we don't get anything incorrect, which I probably have done in the past. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get started with our Greek. Eden ho Jesus ton Nathanael arkomenon pros auton kai lege peri autu ede alethos Israelites en hoi dolos uk estin. And that's as far as we're going to go today. We find at the very beginning of our sentence, Aden, which is our verb, this comes from horao opsamai adon, so this epsilon nu is a third person singular. And since it's from the third principal part, this is going to be aorist tense. It's active and it is indicative, meaning saw. Ho is a article from ho. Hey, to, so we've got the masculine nominative singular. Jesus is also in the proper form for that. All right, going backwards from my normal order, sorry. Nominative, singular, there we go. The, as our subject. Tone is another article. Also comes from Hohe To. This is clearly the masculine accusative singular, and it's taking Nathanael as our as its referent. So that's gonna be because of the article. That's the only reason we can tell so Nathaniel doesn't decline normally. Or at all, really. The And then we have a commonon, and here we have, uh, repeating myself, a commonon is from erkomai, so this is a deponent, we've got our stem erk, and omen and on, on tells us that it's the same form as Nathaniel, so I'm going to draw that over, except that it is also a participle, accusative singular masculine, present, is off the present stem, deponent, participle, meaning coming. Pros is a preposition. Pros takes, in this case, with Omicron nu there, accusative as its object. This is singular, and it could be masculine, or it could, no, it can only be masculine because this would just be auto if it were neuter. To, or toward, I need to learn how to spell. And it's going to be capitalized since Jesus is its referent. Kai lege, lege is a verb, so a prepositional phrase ends here, and kai is instead connecting two different clauses. We've seen lege a bazillion times before. There's one right there, but we'll do it one more time. Third, singular, present, active, indicative. Says, peri autu. Peri is another preposition. Autu is going to be its object. Omicron Upsilon here tells us that peri is taking genitive in this case. And it means about. Ide is a part of direct discourse, so it's prepositional phrase is going to end right there. Or concerning. And this would be referring, I believe, to Nathaniel rather than to Jesus himself. So this is not the reflexive version of it. Direct discourse. We add question, no, not question, quote marks right there. We've seen a day before. It's right there. So I'm just going to pull that down rather than parse it again. C or no. C is going to make a lot more sense in this case. Since he's talking about someone. Alethos. Alethos comes from aletheia, or sorry, aletheis, alethes, which is a adjective. Our omega sigma ending here tells us that this is actually an adverb built off of that adjective. Meaning truly. Israelites. This is, I believe, another adjective, but it's being used, as you can see, no noun around it as a substantive. Eta sigma here 
is its ending. So actually, considering that, I'm probably wrong about it being an adjective. I'll try to remember to put a note in the video to say one way or the other for that. It's going to be nominative, singular, masculine, or could be vocative, singular, masculine of the first declension. Truly Israelite. N, prepositional phrase right there. Hoy, sub iota, this is dative singular. And it's going to be masculine because Israelites, which is a hard word to say, is also masculine. Taking a look at this, we've entered a relative clause. We've got our main clause over here with ide. In whom dolos omicron sigma there tells us nominative, singular, masculine. Uk esten. Esten is our verb from ami. This is third person, singular, present, active, indicative. And you just have to memorize the forms because they don't form normally according to other things. And uk just means not. Is dolos. I believe this means seat. And there we go. Don't know for certain whether or not this uh, direct quote ends, so we're not going to add the quotation marks until after we take a look at verse 48, or when we start looking at verse 48. But this is everything that we've got so far. Let's see it in its own context. The Jesus saw the Nathaniel coming to or toward him, and says concerning him, See, truly, an Israelite, in whom is not deceit. There we go. Let's take a look at it in its greater context from verse 43. On the next day, he wished or wanted to have gone into Galilee, and he finds Philip, and the Jesus says to him, Follow me. But, or and, the Philip was from Bethsaida, from the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip finds the Nathanael, and he says to him, What Moses wrote, in the law, and, as is implied, what the prophets wrote, we have found Jesus, the son of the Joseph, the one from Nazareth. And Nathanael said to him, Is it possible that anything from Nazareth is good? Philip says to him, Come and see. The Jesus saw the Nathanael coming toward him and says about him, or concerning him, See, truly, Israelite, in whom is not deceit. And there we go. The last thing that we need to do is we need to take a look at this verse, see if there are any proper nouns that don't have articles, and we want to see which of the two different versions of translating that makes most sense, a proper noun or just proper noun by itself. Very beginning, we have Jesus. He's got an article, so that's fine. Nathaniel's got an article, so that's fine. No other articles. Israelite is really describing. That doesn't count. Yep, we don't have any. So we are done with this verse. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope taking a look at it has been helpful for you, and I hope that you continue to stick with me as we reach the end of this chapter. Have a good day.